How's it going, Short Kings? It's week three. We're on a bye week. We're 2-0, and and we got a little bit of recruiting to do. Unfortunately for us, a lot of the really good players on our board were just kind of trailing behind, and I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get them. But uh, as we go down, decent leads with some players at the same time. Everybody has scholarship offers, and with the final points of this bye week, we're just going to start trying to get those big leads and hopefully close out a couple of recruits. Well, that effort seemed to work. We get a few guys ready to visit. So we'll set those up, finish the recruiting, and then get into this game against Kansas State. This week, we're going to throw some of our extra points into the guys that we're further behind with. So hopefully we don't fall off the radar with these guys. And of course, the three guys ready to visit, Kyle Jackson, Dominic Brigham, and Josh Timmons. Looks like we're going to be pretty tough here with Kyle Jackson, the fullback. Uh, we'll send him to the Marshall game a little bit later in the season. And uh, we can do the same with Dominic and Josh as well. Hopefully that starts to get us set up and we, we can maybe get some commits. Now, Josh is actually already 79% locked, so I'm fairly certain we'll get him committed very early here. And now we can take a look at our opponents in Kansas State. Herb Street's going to go for us 2-0. Kansas State is 0-1. We are on the road, and they are a B-plus school, so they're pretty solid. But statistically, all the categories seem to be split fairly evenly. Their one loss of the season was also a 10-point loss to the number five team in the nation in Tennessee, where we have struggled with an 0-1 Air Force in a 1-1 Western Arizona. And I was a little bit curious, so we checked before that. We did last week beat Western Arizona, who is ranked in the top 25. And now we're receiving votes in the coaches poll, so puts us, uh, what is that, close to 30? 30 seconds, as Miami's actually the only team that dropped out. And on the early season Heisman watch, it's uh, Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, Deshaun Watson, Raleigh Williams the third. I don't know that name, and Nate Starks. Kansas is a 90 overall, which is going to be difficult. Uh, no shaky bars, thankfully. But that 92 on defense against our 77 offense is not going to be easy. A little bit worrisome for us. The two top players for Kansas State are 96 overall at left outside linebacker and 96 overall at defensive tackle. But unfortunately for Kansas State, they've got their running back out for five weeks and their quarterback questionable. So that could really help us win this game here on the road. This is, uh, this is an important one for our season. If we win this, I think we're ranked... And we, we definitely know that we can stack up against the better teams. Well, Bill Snyder Family Stadium here in, and I hope I'm not wrong with this, but Manhattan, Kansas. It's going to be embarrassing if I am because I've been saying that for the past couple episodes. Um, we get a chance here to win. We'll go tails. And again, tails never fails. So we'll kick this ball off. Only a one mile an hour wind, but we should really benefit from getting the ball to start the third quarter. Jolly got a hold of it, and we're kicking into the wind, or with the wind at our back, sorry, to start this game. Strickland's going to bring it out of the end zone. Oh, this is a... Oof. He had a lot of green in front of him there. Now, my user in, in Madden has been pretty solid recently, but NCA 14, I still struggle sometimes with the linebackers. And, oh, we just left Strickland wide open there. Part of me does wonder if maybe we should switch to a man defense as well. Wow. Uh, Silman just goes for seven yards there. Well, we're going to try it and see as uh, Kansas State is in this hurry up. I get beat by the running back there for a first down, but I think we could maybe adjust to this. The only thing I'm worried about here is double moves, but they're going to hand it off. And oh, this is not good. Our defense struggling early. On second down, they'll hand it off. And this is going to be just another big one. That might be a touchdown. Boone can't get the tackle. Justin Silman, 25 yards to the end zone. That was just too easy. My biggest hope in this game is that we can turn it into a shootout at the very least. We'll see what uh, Nunez can do here. I'm going to bring it out deep in the end zone, but we have that speed. You never know. Not a good decision. Really got to hope that somebody gets open. And actually, maybe I should be not passing a whole lot. Couldn't get rid of that one. Just about at the start of every episode, I forget how bad Richie Kirk is at passing. But now we're stuck in a third and 15. 
Well, if we survive this one, it could be a miracle. Maybe right bumper F Howard Bruh. Flanagan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody tackle this man. Well, we just gave them great field position. If the defense wants to get a stop here, it would be huge. But <laughs> I, what can we do to stop this man? We'll have to start blitzing on just about every play. But even then, he's getting five yards. Second and five. That's another handoff, and I took a terrible angle. Oh, this is going to be a long day for us, isn't it? If Nunez doesn't start taking return after return, well, I don't know what we're going to do. And it really doesn't help that they're putting us pretty deep in the end zone. But we will continue to bring them out and hope that we can get a couple blocks, or we can just get garbage every time. Inside the 20 again. We're going to try the little bit of read option that we have and see if maybe that helps us. Richie... Got to slide down. Finally, positive yards at the very least. Try to test him deep. Richie outside the pocket. I see nothing. There's right bumper. Oh, Howard Flanagan came open late for me there. And at least we get a first down. As hard as it's going to be to trust, tr trust Richie. Goodness. We're going to have to. Finding Khalif that time. Give this one to Talib. Try to get some, some yards there. It really feels like those purple jerseys are everywhere, and it still feels like that. Can I maybe find Flanagan and, uh, damn it, this is awful. We certainly don't have the kick team to do anything here, and I'm not about to punt it down this much, but again, just nobody open. Maybe I can get lucky and find McMillan? No. Couldn't lay out for it. It's a turnover on downs. Well, they'll keep running it, and we're just gonna, oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Richie Kirk is out for, for the time being, and we literally cannot stop Kansas State. I have absolutely no idea why the team is so bad right now, but this is an awful matchup for us, and Gene Nunez, oh, please, please, Gene, no... No clipping, no clipping. Oh, we're gonna be on the board. We need three more of those to take the lead. Gene Nunez takes it 104 yards and that's all that we needed. It feels so nice to be on the board. And because the defense hasn't shown they've been able to get stops, we're gonna go for onside kicks in this game. And you know, we do recover that, but it was an illegal touching. The good news is the computer always accepts this and it'll set him back all the way to the 35. In this game, if you're going to go with an onside kick, you better hope that you recover it or get a, uh, an illegal touching as the floor. they went to the air. Pressure works second and 16. If the defense gets a stop here, I'm going to be so incredibly surprised. We know that the run's coming, nope. but we literally, why, we, we just run past this man. Sit oh, down, what the friend. hell? I can't do anything. Oh my gosh. Justin Stillman is going to break every record in the damn book. We look like a team of middle schoolers out there right now. I'm actually baffled that we've given up 28 points in the first quarter. It's not even over. Maybe Gene can continue to save my bacon. No, the blocking just isn't there. I'm going to lose my mind. Maybe Irby can do something for us. Oh, he feels so slow. But at least he got seven yards. Second down, we go to the air. There's McMillan making a nice grab for the first down. On oh, first down, Khalif has to have the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, stayed in bounds but couldn't get north. Gonna just continue to pass because I don't think we're gonna be able to run very well. That's a oh, that's a risky throw, McMillan. Bruh. Well, that was a mistake. I'm going to have a concussion from banging my head on the desk so much after this game. I'm very much not happy with the way that this game's going. They will go to the air, but now the quarterback's going to take off. Watch him start breaking tackles. Oh my goodness. What can we do to stop this man? Another handoff. There we go. We hit him in the backfield. It's a tackle for a loss. Oh, I'm so ready to celebrate. It's the end of the first and we're down 21 already. Oh, I, I'm not having a good time. My only hope is to blitz as much as I possibly can and hope that we can get some some nice sacks or maybe make the quarterback make a mistake. And their biggest mistake on that one was throwing a screen against me. 
Just not typically gonna work. Casey? Oh, we definitely needed that one. His second deflection of the game. Seems like the defense maybe has settled down a little bit after such an awful first quarter. And we'll give Gene Nunez a chance to get to the corner. We cut it back, and it's a good 25-yard return, so a chance to cut this to a two-score game. On second and 11, I'm looking for Irby. We've got him. We had a little block there from McMillan, and a third and short to work with. Third and one now. Oh, Flanagan isn't going to get it. Didn't get the forward progress that I was hoping for. But a Richie Kirk quarterback sneak could keep this drive alive. Oh, a one on fourth down so far. Kirk has it that time. One of these days we'll find Nunez streaking free. It's not today though. Kirk, can we get away from this man? Oh man, that was a tough four yards there. Kansas State, if you're listening, please stop the bullying. Give me a chance here. Second and six. Outside the pocket. Y is wide open. Can we hit McMillan? We do. We hit him in almost in stride. And he gives us a first and goal. McMillan is temporarily out with a strained shoulder, so that's a little bit more depth at wide receiver loss, but Richie should have a touchdown here. Too easy on that scramble. So a 14-point game now, but we're going to keep these onside kicks going. All it takes is one onside kick to change the outcome of this game, and there it is. Beautiful. The safeties are baiting me into making stupid throws, so we'll try to be safe. There's Gene across the 40. And this one off to Tlaib on second down. Let's get north there. That's a good first down. That's a great 12-yard carry. I just need to see one man get free here. I'm not liking any of this. Me? Oh, that's a terrible throw. Durbin comes down with it, though, and gets 12 yards. Oh, that was really risky in Richie's heart. Oh, no. Richie has a mild concussion and is going to be out for the rest of the game. Which, unfortunately for us, means William Pruitt's our quarterback. He's way slower, but he has a slightly better arm than Richie, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Great chance for Pruitt to get some game experience under his belt. And, well, that's on the receiver. Very quickly, third and ten. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. Gonna try to force it. How did Khalif come down with that? It's a first and goal inside the five. First and goal here. I am gonna try to pass outside the pocket. We have Parker, but he couldn't come down with it. Since we're at the one, we're gonna try another QB sneak. Pruitt this time. Where's the line gonna be? Can he get it? No. But I think he got a, maybe a little bit closer. They are jammed up here at the line. If Pruitt can get this, it's a miracle. Third and goal, a minute to go in the half. Diving over the pile, he's in. Oh, that dive has become so clutch for us. And with a minute to go in the half, we've managed to bring it within seven. We'll try to see if the defense can get a little bit of a hold here. This will be returned, which will burn some time off the clock. Hopefully we don't allow too much. Oh, great blocking. Absolutely fantastic blocking. They're going to be near the 40 to start the drive. 48 seconds now. And that's a man open. Rick Penn getting beat as they get across midfield. K-State takes their first time out after that play. It's now first and 10. Quarterback's going to scramble. That's good news for us. We have him with the hit stick there. And they have to take their second time out. Very tempted to send a blitz here, but I think we're going to just sit back and hope. Quarterback scrambles. He takes a sack. And the clock is gonna go out. We want this clock to burn out. I don't even wanna I don't even want to take any risks here. Don't want to take any risks. They're gonna throw wide open man. Zach Reuter with the catch. That's good on Sundays as well. Gets both toes down as he drags and picks up a first down. 19 seconds, and I would bet that they are in field goal range as we get another sack, but I don't know if it matters. Really, our only hope is clock mismanagement. Which, this is going to be the last play. No, they we, t we shouldn't have sacked him. Maybe it knocked him out of field goal range, but they're able to take that time out. This is going to be a very long one. A 55-yarder, so we've got Nunez back there to return. You never know. And wow, he, had the, he absolutely had the leg for it, but he missed and we held on. So at halftime, miraculously only down seven. Um, Gene Nunez with an incredible kick return. 
and an onside kick, as well as a couple of quarterback sneaks are the reason that we're even still a part of this game. I would be more than happy with Gene returning this one to start the half. We should have had plenty of time to rest. He's going to get a couple of blocks. Gene, oh, couldn't pick up that block on number six, but he misses the dive. And you know, that looked an awful lot like a face mask at the end, but I can't complain. We really need Pruitt to start making some accurate throws. That's a tough one, and he just overthrows his man. According to his numbers, he's a more accurate passer than Richie Kirk is, but he's one of five right now with a big third and nine in front of him. And a man open, Flanagan. Howard's got it. Off to the races. That's a first and ten at one of my favorite spots on the field. Well, Pruitt, thanks for trying to prove me wrong. So far, 100% efficiency in the red zone. And Talib gets us that uh, second and three inside the five now. See if there's anything that we can do second and three. Get a couple blockers and Noel's in. What what did he just do to one of those guys? It's going to be tied up, but I just want to look at what Talib did to this guy. He just hit him in the, uh, the bicep and sent him flying. Like, actually flying. We can pretend that the scoreboard says 0-0 and it's a one-half ball game. See who can come out on top as, oh no, our tackling has been atrocious. My biggest problem is when they realize that they can start running Soman again, and I think, yeah, it'll start early. Blocking is great, Lester. Thank goodness Devon does a good job of hitting him there. Soman has 10 carries for 179 yards and a couple of touchdowns as well. That's absurd. And standing him up. Okay, we got a third down. This is risky as hell. Third and two. We're going to go engage eight. They went with the option. Oh, if it's not an option, we might have eaten that alive. Now on 11 carries, Silman has over 200 yards and four touchdowns. If that's not absurd, I don't know what is. Another first down, another pass. We left Pringle wide open, but he only gets three yards. Second and seven. That's going to be another handoff and another first down. Uh, another carry for the man. Can we get the tackle? No, stiff arm cheese. It's his fifth touchdown of the day. Oh, no, that was Terrence Richards. Oh, thank goodness. Not quite as embarrassing. Or maybe it's more embarrassing. I honestly don't know. And Gene, we trust. Please. Okay, we got a little bit of blocking again. This feels pretty common now. <laughs> that short fieldage is so helpful. It also should not be necessary to win this game. But here we are. There's McMillan. Good catch that time. Hand off on third and two. Talib has the first down and a lot more. Honestly, our running game is pretty solid right now, and we're going to try to keep feeding it as we get another six on the ground that time. I would love to see if we could get somebody starting to heat up. If we can find Gene, it's another nice catch from him. First down. Bruh. Wow. Threw that way too early. That might be it. That might be game. Well, three turnovers in a game this close is certainly not going to help. But if we could force a three and out, we might be okay. Second and nine. They do hand it off there. But we get them in a third down at the very least. And I expect them to go to the air. <laughs> oh, it's a play action. And they go right at my man. A play action would get me good here. Thankfully, they just go with a normal pass. And Devon Lester. Oh, can't get there. Strickland breaks a tackle. They're in the red zone. Tried to ball hawk that one, but just a little too short as we give up six more there. And we just got bailed out by the line. I called a safety blitz too, which could have ended very terribly, but a false start will back them up. I would love to hold these guys to a field goal, but they've got a third and one just like that. Down a touchdown, we go into the fourth. Uh, most likely about to give up some points. Hopefully it's just three. Silman's in. I'm ca calling it a run up the middle. Timing is there. We hold him on third and one. So at least we'll get the field goal and that's it. We really had to sell out to get that stop. 
And we won't be bailed out by a miss this time. So down 10 here in the fourth. Pruitt is ice cold, which is bad news for us. Although we've got G Nunez if he can hit him. And that'll help to warm him up a little bit. Might need a uh, onside kick. Pruitt bowls over a man and gets two yards. Wow. Second and eight. I see A. We can hit Flanagan. He holds on to it. We need to go quick. Pick up an okay run there on second down. Third and seven. Really hoping that we can get something. G. Nunez coming open. We've got him. And he's inside the red zone just like that. Well, up the middle is going to have nothing. He's swallowed alive. And we're going to jump a little false start there to back us up even further. Third and 18. Where's the four for your miracle? I see a Carpenter. He caught it. What a catch. Damian Carpenter, a name I don't even know, just came down with a miracle touchdown. What on earth is that catch? What an absolute miracle of a play. And now we're only down three with 3.49 to go. If we can just stuff the run once, we would be in a good spot. I kind of got beat. Quarterback's going to scramble. Look at all that space. Trying to strip the ball there. Not going to work. 20-yard run for Alex Delton. This team is world class. They go play action on me all the time in the world. Broken tackle. Are you kidding me? It's another first down. Another first down. They're going to the air again. And they find another man. He's going to get another first down. Apparently, he's still not down. Oh, they're in field goal range now with 320 to go. I have no idea what their plans are here. What they're trying to do with the game, but I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Even after running there, they're going to come into the hurry up. I'm going to call this another run. No, they go to the air. What is he doing? He throws it away third and seven. We have a chance here. I am begging for this team to hold for one play and just to make sure that we can maybe get some pressure. I'm going to bring Campbell. And pressure on the quarterback. Tackle him. Fourth and one. Let's take a timeout there. We're going to go fake zone here. Make sure they don't ice the game by faking it. Kicker gets it. It's a six-point game. 2.45 to go. I'm really curious to see if they'll allow Jean to return this one. I'm going to bring this out. It's a deep kick. Deep in the end zone, but Gene kind of breaks free. Gene Nunez. Can he pick up a deep block? No. But we're across the 25. 82 yards on that return. But Gene is hurt. Add another player to the injury report. Gene Nunez pulls his hamstring, and he's going to be gone for the rest of the game. So arguably, two of our best offensive players are out, and we're going to have to pull off a miracle here. With 2.36 to go and only two timeouts, I think that this is going to be hopefully the final drive of the game. We will run on first down, and Tlaib does a great job there getting six. But if possible, I would love to score as time is basically expiring. I don't want to give these guys a chance to do anything, except Khalif is almost at the five. We have a first and goal. Well, I've accepted that we're not getting the ball back after this, so we're going to burn actually a little bit of time here. First and goal. We'll run it to Talib, and he's in for a touchdown. Oh, no. That might be our biggest mistake yet. The team is absolutely celebrating, but there's a minute and 42 seconds and three timeouts for Kansas State to go down and kick a field goal, and they have a good field goal kicker. A minute and 38 here. We're going to bring them down. That's going to be their first time out, maybe. No, they're going to let the clock burn and go hurry up. Absolutely having to use the defensive line. That's a false start. Back them up five more. I am so terrified that we're going to screw this one up. Second and 19. We know that they're going to be starting to pass. Quarterback scrambling. Gabe Holland can't get the sack, but there it is. Third and 25. They're not taking their timeouts yet either. There's only a minute to go. Pack everybody up. It's third and way too long. Young, good pressure, hitting his man. Casey's beat deep, and he dropped it. He, Alex Delton, his man dropped the pass, and it's fourth and 25. We are in a quarter. 
cover three. We get the sack, the game's over. I don't think they can win now. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable that we're gonna win this game. It's first and goal from the four and I need to make sure that we make them burn their timeouts here. Even if we have a chance to score, I'm not gonna let Tlaib go in. Second and goal now. Can we force this Tlaib? Not going in yet. Burn as much clock as we can, force him to use those timeouts. We will probably kick a field goal if we screw this up, force them to uh, score the touchdown. And on third down to Irby. Oh, it's Irby. Oh no, no timeouts, 42 seconds, we're on the inch line. Oh, I hope this isn't a mistake. I'm gonna try to ice it. Pruitt has one quarterback sneak successful so far. Can we get another one? 42 seconds, Pruitt over the line and in for the touchdown. That's gotta be the game. We could only burn 10 seconds off the clock there, but we're now up seven and I'm gonna try to go for two to really ice this game, make it a two score victory. We hand it off to Tlaib and he got in. Met at the, at the goal line there, but he's able to just keep driving the legs and it's nine points with 41 seconds. Who would have thought after how poorly we did at the very start of this game and throwing three interceptions that we would have a chance to win this one car just obliterated Dominique Keith at the 15 yard line. We're going full prevents here. And maybe who knows we could pick up another sack. There was some pressure. Here's going to be a man maybe tackled in bounds. So they're going to have to go hurry up but 31 seconds to go. In three close games against three pretty solid teams, are we going to come out to start the season 3-0? Absolutely incredible. Everybody's still dead tired on this defense, but only 17 seconds that they have to hold out. I'm trying to get pressure on this quarterback so he doesn't have all day, and he throws that one away. 12 seconds now. Still up nine points. At this point, I think it's pretty much impossible for them to score twice. And especially if Young's gonna force the quarterback out of the pocket. Silman, uh-oh. This man has broken a lot of tackles this game, but there's only three seconds to go, I think. If you're up in North Main, you can start to celebrate right now. There's no way they're gonna be able to do anything. They're gonna clock the ball here, probably. No. <laughs> okay. Clock hits triple zeros. And we're gonna walk out of Kansas State with a win against all odds as well. Oh my goodness, two incredible players getting injured for the game. And Gene Nunez, even with the injury, I don't know why it's showing him running there. He's going to be player of the game. Incredible returns, incredible catches. Just an incredible game. And to think that we allowed them to go up, what, 21 nothing in the first quarter? Silman ran for like 9,000 yards and six touchdowns. I swear I'm not making that number up. Prude ends 9-17 for a touchdown and a pick, while Richie Kirk goes 9-16 for two picks. Noel runs for 54, Irby gets 9, Kirk gets 10. Receiving-wise, Howard Flanagan with 61, Khalif with 58, and Gene with 68. And on defense, again, Lawrence Young, Kendrick Evans, Deontay Alford, and Gabe Holland picking up incredibly crucial sacks. And I'd be foolish not to show Justin Silman's numbers here. 18 carries for 222 yards and four touchdowns. That's that, that's absurd. Team totals. Uh, they're having over 100 yards more of total offense. They did way more on the ground. We did more on the air. And we ended up doing better on third downs and fourth downs than them. And we were perfect six for six on touchdowns in the red zone. The crazy thing is we lose the turnover battle 3 nothing, but it's those 353 kick return yards and maybe the time of possession battle that gets us ahead on that one. After that game, Kyle Jackson commits to USC. Patrick Smith will go to Washington State, but we get a bunch of guys ready to visit. And, you know, I guess we aren't lucky because they aren't going to rank us after that game. We'll be sitting at 27th with a ton of votes and having to go up against a 1-0 TCU. Uh, but Herb Street's favoring us. This is an A 
overall team. We'll, we'll, I don't know if we stand a chance here, but that's going to have to wait for the next episode. If you enjoyed what you saw in this one, feel free to subscribe or maybe head over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 to see some more NCAA and Madden and maybe a few other games. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and you can you know, tell me down below maybe what you were thinking once we went down 21 nothing real quick there. I know I thought we were going to get obliterated. I thought we were going to get shut out and it was going to be like 80 to nothing. Thankfully, though, it's not. And we are able to somehow stay undefeated. Regardless, thank you guys for watching. My name is Poon Master. You guys are the Short Kings. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.